Yeah, that's a lot of activity. I can only imagine their uh, server farm. There might be a setting in there somewhere. I just don't know I mean, about. They're probably using Amazon. Hey, here we go. Well, even on the side there, I still I don't know if that was for us or if that shows to everybody. It shows the extensions popping up. Oh, really? Both of them. Yeah. Hey, Targaryen Puma. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Always so punctual, a Targaryen. <laughs> Hola. I have yeah, no idea what that means, but it sounds great. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Do you need it in Texas French? Would that help? <laughs> That's the problem. Ice pirates. Wow. I wish we could do some kind of trivia on this. Buenos noches, amigos. <laughs> Oops. Is I there? just realized I can't go to another screen there. Our stream's international. We're so exotic. Wonderful. Shall Punctuality. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. It's all I need. You've never seen it. Oh, you should really check out that Ice Pirates. I hear it's so, pretty good. So good. Uh, did you ever see? I, I couldn't remember that. Um, I posted that picture from Money Python. With the Superman? On Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> and, but well, I couldn't remember that sketch, but I, I was like, you know, every sketch group has done a parody of Superman. So I, I just typed in Monty Python and Superman. I'm like I knew there would be something. I'd never seen that before. I thought maybe you had done a little Photoshop, but I looked at it. I was like, well, that is super <laughs> clean. If he did Photoshop, that's amazing. I am that good. All right, here, I'm going to play a little opening song to kick us off. Low magic carpet ride. Hey, Matthew's Ranch. Matthew's Ranch. So good to see you. I can't hear the song. Do, 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 do. There it is. That, that will at least give you a reference. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks for the do do. I, any, I'll do for you do do any do. <laughs> Night bodega. Hello. Bow, bow, bow. And the movies yeah. that made them. There it is. There's your <laughs> intro. What's up, everybody? Hey, guys. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember now how hard I made the Monty Python. It seems like I tried to start with a, a couple. Of, I, I didn't want everybody to, to fall out immediately, so I don't feel like they're crazy hard. There's probably like one or two that's really difficult. <laughs> Vanessa and the movies that made <laughs> Perfect. She nailed the timing. Did you give uh, Ice Pirates a six? Are we? What did you rate, Calaird? Is it the perfect, most perfect movie in the world? Good evening, Ben. You're here right on time. Awesome. And Jesse, hello. I have this one post-it that I keep re-putting up on my oh, monitor, and it keeps falling. I should just take care of the action on it, and I wouldn't have to worry about it, but here we are. A solid 30 out of 10. 30 out of 10. Ice cold 30. <laughs> good morning and hey -o. Is it good morning for you? Falconer, Falconer, did you take a little nap? Nappy nap? <laughs> Falconer just drove home. I know for a fact. He was over on my stream winning, winning stuff earlier. Won some stickers. Oh, cool. Awesome. Congrats. Or wait, that was right. Sully Bucks today. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, well, whatever. Hey, right, you guys are, are coming in, but I think you know what you're here for. There's... A Monty Python and the Holy Grail trivia tonight for Knockout. So five amazing questions. Something completely different. And <laughs> uh, then we switch over to the main trivia with uh, the, the usual point system. It's going to be the Reeve, what I'm calling the Reeve Superman franchise. Uh, those original four Superman, Supermen. Can you refer to that franchise by the plural? Maybe not. Sure. Sure. Um, yeah, I didn't put... Um, if anybody was thinking it would make it in there, I didn't put Supergirl in there uh, along with that franchise. I don't know how many people consider that to nah. be part of those. No? I mean, Christopher Reeve didn't appear in it as, as Superman, right? He was supposed to, but no, I, I yeah, don't think he so did. Yeah, so doesn't count. No. My death was all right. <laughs> sound like you're just doing a southern death my death was all right <laughs> uh that's right yeah ah, that's right. benjamin b so there is a crossover but yeah not not reeve in it so not reeves yeah weren't they supposed to be cousins i guess you 
not always hanging out with your cousin, so I guess it's feasible. Yeah. We wouldn't know. We don't have any direct cousins. It's all like second, third. Right. Yeah, sure. Uh, They're like just above an acquaintance and how much we know. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. (laughs) I've met them more than once. Yeah, I think so. Um, Yeah, I don't don't remember the story of Supergirl. Forgive me for those Supergirl fans, but I... uh, I really don't remember anything about that movie. No, me either. What happens? I think there's something focused on a fast food joint at one point. That's all I can remember. Like there was a fight at a fast food joint or something. I can't remember exactly what it is, but. And it was a a female villain, wasn't it? Ooh, I don't remember that even. I can't picture. No, nobody. Or we're just completely wrong. (laughs) No, she has dang near photographic memory. It's not fair. (laughs) Vanessa remembers Uh, everything. Yeah. Faye Dunaway, right? Yeah, I just really don't remember. Uh, Magic Carpet Ride, we're doing the uh, one through four Superman. I'm just going with that, that we're doing Superman uh, for the uh, for the trivia tonight. So no Supergirl, no TV shows, no reboots or any of the later, the latter Superman. We do occasionally get into TV, but we try to keep it movie focused for the most part. Well, every time we do, you yell at me. I do. Not you. Oh, I was gonna say. I don't remember you. Stay in your wheelhouse. If I remember somebody saying, <laughs> "How dare you!" You'll never get a TV show out of me again. You ruined it for all the TV fans. Uh speaking of TV, uh I don't know how many people have seen the finale of Loki, so maybe we don't get into any uh, spoilers. But what do you think? Of the overall show. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm a huge fan. I think it's my favorite of them so far. Um, and, um, well, you got to watch it. Just a pro tip to anybody. Watch it all the way through the credits. But definitely don't want to spoil anything. I really, really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the casting in the last episode without giving anything away. Big fan yeah. of, of our new introduction mm-hmm. there. And uh, mm-hmm. I hope that we get a whole lot more from that universe. But what uh, well, we were in the universe, but of that specific uh, the TVA and all that. I really want to know how it ties in, if at all, to what we're seeing in the movies. Be really interesting to see, like I the mean, events of Civil War changed the television shows, like Agents of Shield that were on at the time. So, yeah, how can that affect the movies, and will we see that immediately? Because when they did Black Widow, that's set back in the past. So it's not like it's going to affect the upcoming movies in any big way. But this definitely could. So, right. Well, even the past isn't safe. As we True. learned before. So True. there could have been a crossover. Um, but yeah, I anticipate, especially with the show's length and where it ends, like the, it's a direct going to be a direct step straight over into Doctor Strange, I think. Makes sense. I think we'll take everything we've learned from here. We'll ex- be expected to know uh, part of it to go in. Or we'll be at least rewarded that we do know. That's kind of how they do things. And do we get that one this year? I know we get uh, the Eternals this year and at least two other Marvel films, but I can't remember what all they are. Was it was Doctor Strange one of them? I think so. I don't think what if is going to be is going to tie into anything. I think it's a sandbox. It's like a playground. They're just going to be able to tell any story they want. So I don't think they're going to use that uh, to tie together this current phase. I don't know. So that's the whole point, right? Is to, although in a way, that's exactly what this current phase is. Yeah. Um, Serves because as a... of the multiverse. Uh huh. So, I I guess you're right. It is every single one of those stories is a tie-in, even if we don't necessarily get um, more sp- those same specifics carrying over into the movies. You know. Right. I mean? Yeah. Unlike the Agents of Shield, that just those. basically went off on its own. Right. 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 Yeah, so you can pretend that every what if is actually a story in another universe. That's God, I can't wait for that's going to be fun. I love that they got the <clears> the movie <throat> actors to do the voices too, so it's has that continuity. I'm pumped for what if too. Yeah, I think it looks really cool. I always love the concept. Um, I think we all like that. Anytime you take a character and you know pretty well and change it over into you know the fundamentals of it or put a fish out of water sort of thing like. That's always fun. Well, it's those conversations yeah. we have with friends and stuff like, wouldn't it be cool if, well, right. now we finally get it. Yeah. No, I think that's pretty rad. What else is coming up? Um, oh, I, I finally finished uh, Lupin, uh, 
I'm just calling it season two. They call it part two. Uh, it lost me there. Who, who else is watching Lupin? Anybody? I don't know if that's a huge, huge hit or not. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, he's like a gentleman thief. Um, and uh, this, this story is a lot of fun. Uh, it's got, you know, it's, uh, I don't know anybody from the show. Oh, you should get it. Should check it out. I think uh, Netflix. Ben was talking about um, there was uh, some c comics and then I think a Japanese anime show, or somebody else was talking about that, um, and I didn't know how they tied in exactly, but uh, this is live action, uh, but really really good. Uh, you guys should check that. Out. At least check out an episode, see if it's your kind of kind of thing. But I enjoyed it. It's kind of like a heist show, you know, almost like with a little bit of a, you know, like. A, the A team would go and dress yeah. up as characters to do like a heist or something like that, but they never hurt anybody. It's that, but he works alone. It kind of reminds me a bit of uh, in the field. The vibe of it is that uh, leverage show. I don't oh, know if I you ever watched that. that. They're bringing it back after like seven or eight years of no leverage. They're bringing it back, which is interesting. Oh, you enjoyed uh, Infinite Darkness. Is that a limited? show or is that supposed to go for a while i don't I know, know since it's time. animated and it's on on uh, netflix i just assume there would be a bunch of it mm -hmm. but it's um from what i can tell it looks like uh when we did when they did final fantasy a number of years back it's like that sort of animation the cg i just rewatched venom this week somebody was commenting that we could also get venom 2 and a few more disney show disney plus shows this year i just rewatched venom I think I liked it better on the second viewing. Yeah. Well, it sounds like everybody here is enjoying the Resident Evil. I never did see Venom. I, I don't know. For some reason, it looks so different from the other stuff. I just wasn't wasn't hit. And now they're... Uh, yeah, I haven't seen the second one. It's either. pretty well done. Or it's not out yet. It's pretty well done. And I like Tom Hardy, especially in this role. There's some roles with him I don't like him in, but I, but I mm -hmm. do like him in this role. This and... What was that? Uh, Warrior movie that he did years ago where he was a UFC. I really liked him in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Tom, for me, it's hit or miss. Like, sometimes mm -hmm. I'm, like, annoyed by him. Yeah. <laughs> and other times I'm like, that. that's a really good fit. So I think he's one of those people. I don't know. I can't say he has a ton of range. Um, I think he just fits a certain... He was great in uh, Fury Road. That is exactly yes. the role I think he he's supposed to be. Perfect in that. Less talking. <laughs> right. I really Suicide Squad. I'm hyped for. Finest Funko mentioned that. I I can't wait. I'm so ready. Anything James Gunn and Nathan Fillion's in it. Come on. Right. Right. Tom's not gonna take you on like an emotional roller coaster. No. You're just. Uh, no. <laughs> he's more of a, a set piece. That's Sounds like we're we're looping him in with Vin Diesel now after last week's conversations. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Oh, I'd probably hire him before Vin. <laughs> I'm sure Vin's a very nice guy, but. Uh. uh spoiled villain in the ss they showed his figure and and there's something about the figure that i think gives away part of his character but we don't know we haven't really seen it Fun marvel's usually pretty good about um keeping back stuff that's spoilers this is of course dc so i would think they would keep stuff back that's uh spoilery <laughs> uh what was that uh oh, i i didn't know Fillion was on the series of unfortunate events I, I couldn't get into that show because we, Vanessa and I, both love the movie so much with uh, Jim Carrey that yeah. it was hard to watch somebody else playing the part. Uh, even though I'm also a big uh, MPH fan. I just, yeah, I'm just like, this doesn't feel right because that movie's just so good. I don't know how many of you watch the movie versus the, the television show, but that movie is just rock solid. Love it. it is, yeah, it's really good. I watched a little bit of the show, but I couldn't I couldn't stick with it. Yo, Violet, what's up? Yeah, I'm sure he did do a good job. It's just one of those things. It's like trying to, I don't know. It's Movie like man the, liked the it. The new more. guy your mom's dating. Like, You'll never <laughs> replace my dad. Luckily, we didn't have to go through that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, cool. Definitely right. wasn't as rushed. Well, we, ju we just recorded a whole uh, new podcast of uh, Predator, which is coming soon. That's um, why I'm wearing this awesome shirt tonight to, to celebrate. Ooh, nice. And uh, you guys be on the lookout for that. Brother's editing it up, but he's also got a full-time job, so he's a busy man. Uh, but when he gets to it, he gets to it. We got it coming. 
So be on the lookout for that. And we just talked a whole lot about what we were watching on there, so I don't think we need to cover it again tonight. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. I thought that was kind of so, a bonus, but uh, yeah, that, that should be out in the next couple of days. So. Sweet. Uh, really solid episode. That was a ton of fun because we, we both love that franchise so much. The original Predators is so good. Yeah, be prepared for uh, maybe breaking it into two segments. We went long on this one. Yeah. Close to two hours, and then we'll see what he edits it down to. Yeah, and as I said on your stream the other day, it got a little mully in there. Uh, I did, didn't I? Don't I? Know what, we, we were a bit salty or something. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I don't think there's any F-bombs I got through. But uh... No, I cursed a few <laughs> times on that one. but <laughs> I did bleep you one time. Did you? I wondered. Um, but I think I think for that it was uh, you were you were yeah you were making a quote from a yeah. movie or whatever. But I still bleeped you. <laughs> I was, was like, like the I blade think that quote? might be a, a bit too far. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I actually rewatched Alien vs. Predator after we uh, after we did this episode. No spoilers. I'll talk about that next time. Yeah. So you you're telling us to go watch uh, Requiem. You did watch Requiem. I think you said you talk about poop. that. Yeah. I have not seen. That's the only one I've not seen. I'm going to watch it again here soon. <laughs> to catch a predator? Wait, what? <laughs> that, that's going to be the... That should have been the name of the show that you do. <laughs> oh, are you talking to movie, man? Yeah, I don't know. The rating on it was so bad. And you you said you didn't like it, right? It was... Yeah, it felt like a straight-to-video kind of thing, like, back in the day. I like, think it was. Yeah. Wasn't, or no, they did have box office numbers, and they were good. Yeah, they only showed it on three theaters, three screens. <laughs> well, in the richest neighborhoods, I guess, because I'm pretty sure it made a, a pretty good amount of money. Um, yeah, but I don't even remember it being advertised for theaters. Like, I remember seeing it on the wall of the video store. Uh, if, see, video stores is where there was like a location, a physical place. <laughs> uh, that joke didn't, didn't hit. All right, because uh, we're all old enough, I guess, tonight. Uh, yeah, we do have some trivia for you guys, uh, so I think everybody's in and now, and that puts us in a pretty good amount of time. Yeah. So we do our I'm knockout not... trivia first? Yes. Who was it that uh, chose, I never remember who chose knockout. Who was it that chose Monty Python? Because I always want to see if you're actually here for your own knockout choice. They just throw everybody else under the bus and run away. <laughs> <laughs> it was you. Oh, great. Nice, Tarzan well, Puma. Uh, all right, then you better win. No bus throwing by Tarjaren. Do you want to... Uh, yeah, we do the run. Then we may as well do the run. Now. All right, so this is yeah. a knockout. You, um, There's five questions. Uh, I think I kind of made them from easy to hard, so I'm trying to be somewhat helpful. But if you get one wrong, you're out. Um, and that's the idea. we got to whittle it down to one winner, and um, that happens across five questions. And so don't be too too hasty with the finger pressing. Uh, and oh yeah, so the game in general to play if you haven't played before, me, <laughs> on the night me say, um, <laughs> I think I avoided that as a trivia question, so I'm not spoiling anything there. Um, yeah, so uh, quiz kit, click on a little button, start playing. You can uh, agree to use your uh, username or not, or you can be what is it contestant thirty two, um, and then uh, yeah. Last one in wins. Then we switch over to the Superman, the main trivia, which is all points. That one you can take a little bit longer, uh, but the longer you take, the more your points go away. So even if you do get it right, you don't get as many points as if you answered quicker. So be quick and correct. And uh, and then everybody stays in. You don't have to worry about getting knocked out. Highest points wins. And Bob, will they win anything on today's episode? Oh, I'm Bob. Uh, here we go. We got, uh, yeah, okay. we got some... I can't uh, remember. <laughs> Movie retake stickers, of course. Uh, I've added our newest one, which is the uh, Monsters, Inc. So if you win this week, uh, one of our top... If, well, if you make it through Knockout, and we'll, we'll pick at least two winners from there, if there are two. If there are more, we'll narrow it down somehow. Hey, thank you, uh, Aggie Greg, for the biddies. Uh, yeah, if great. anyone makes it. If no one makes it, there are no prizes given. Uh, any winner will get automatically one of the Movie Retakes logo stickers, the main one, and then you'll get to pick from the four movie-themed ones that are all limited edition. Uh, there's 50 of each, except for the Monsters, Inc. We figure it would be popular. There'd be 100 of those. Uh, so, yeah, for both games, there's a chance for two to three people to win. We could end up with five winners tonight. We'll oh, see. Um, are you set up to do any reveals of the new... No, I don't have that in here for tonight. But yeah, you guys will see the Predator cover soon. 
So if you don't see it, I can I can throw it up for next week, or we'll have it on Twitter. Be sure to follow us on Twitter. It's nice. I I think that turned out well, and um, I should expect people might enjoy a sticker. Or two I think so too. Yeah, you guys are gonna enjoy it. It's fun. It's okay, fun. Cool. Luckily, there was a font for that one. Thank God, because it would have taken forever to make that font correctly. Yeah, that would have been tough. Do they reuse that font in any of the other ones? Probably the second one, right? The second one, yeah, but I think that yeah. was it. Yeah. Mm. Which is it a was bummer. a pretty cool font. Because, it, yeah, it was very original. Yeah, it was nice. All right. All right. Let's get into it. First one up is the knockout, so you better get them right. Remember, right is the most important part to this. Five questions. We'll see who can make it through. We're starting up Monty Python. What is your favorite color first? <laughs> that's uh, not the first question. No, no, no. That's just the, the name of the overall. You should see an instruction image right now with the rules. Make sure if you're not seeing something, uh, you, if you see the quiz kit logo, click on it. Uh, like my brother said, give it access to see your name. Uh, make sure you see it because we're about to start the game. And if you don't get in on the first question, I don't think you can get in at all. So here we go in five, four, three, two, and one. First question What is needed to battle the killer rabbit of the cave of Carbonog? I don't know. Easy, everybody gets this one. Yeah. I think someone might have said it in the chat earlier. Probably. How were you robbed on trivia, Ben? I haven't watched this movie in forever. I was going to watch it before today, and I didn't get a chance to, but I want to watch it again. Oh, yeah. This one's great. I remember, um, so, <laughs> when I first watched this, I must have been, like, I don't know. It feels like I was pretty young, like 12, 13. That's or about something. how old I was, yeah. Yeah, and I, I had never... We just didn't watch British television or anything. Mm -hmm. And I remember watching this and still laughing, but honestly understanding maybe 20% of the movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just didn't have the ear for their accent. And um, so every time watching it and having more the ear more, yep. I got more and more and it became more and more hilarious. Oh, yeah, Blood Red Rage. Yeah, we should talk about that in a minute. All right, here, the correct answer to question one is, of course, the holy hand grenade of Antioch. Thirteen of you got it right. Two of you got fired. Four of you got sorted. And one of you got doused with the rod of danger. Oh, my. Yeah, th that happened to me, too, Vin. To watch it on, like, the second viewing or whatever. I'm like, oh, yeah, that is the end. <laughs> I love that ending. It's so great. <laughs> so good. All right, uh, let's see who's left. I remembered this time to, ch to say that first. 13 of you. We got Contestant 26, Contestant 25, Violet Kruger, uh, Millennium Panda, Keezy, Cowlaird, Contestant 9, Movie Man, Tarjir and Puma, Walking Miracle, and I might have missed some in the scroll. Yeah, Ben B, Zach Bonifer. Sorry about that if I missed your name. We'll see if you can make it all the way to the end, then I'll definitely say your name. Question a two. What do King Arthur and his knights build to gain access to the French castle? <laughs> Some good answers in there, as always. <laughs> is there anything about family in this one? <laughs> no, family is not a theme. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no, it's it's a perfect ending. That's true. To attempt to gain access. Sorry. Sorry about that. Eh, you worded it right. It's fair. It doesn't say what did they build that gave them access. That's true. Yeah. It is all in the reading. Too wordy. I think, I... No, I think he's saying if he put his words in, it'd be too wordy. <laughs> all right, question two. The correct answer is a giant wooden rabbit. Seven of you got right. Five of you got catapulted right on out. I don't know why I say catapulted. Catapulted. And one of you fell for the giant wooden badger. <laughs> that was what they were going to build next that yeah. was the next idea <laughs> who are the seven that left that move on to question three boy got, it's pretty um uh consistent where it's like 50 percent yeah drop pretty question. interesting isn't it mm -hmm. ben b tarjan puma mocking lazarus movie man 34 callard peking and we still have one more of those contestants by number number nine question you blew it uh, three damn. What animal is repeatedly mentioned in the end credits? Yeah. Oh, I don't think I knew this one. I yeah, I, I, uh, doing that, Jesse, like, um, with second, every time I second guess myself, 
then I'm like, you know what? I don't care if I'm right the second time. I'm going to go with that first answer. And I'll be wrong, but I, I at least feel like I committed. <laughs> Every man needs a code. <laughs> Stick with the first answer, even if you know it's wrong. Fail the first time. <laughs> don't look. Basically, don't learn anything from your yourself. Ew, guessing. I mean, there's at yeah. least one or two of those I would count out immediately. But I don't know. I'm looking at the answer, so it makes it easier. All right. I almost put in. Oh, go ahead. No, no. What were you saying? It's C. Well, I was gonna put in. I feel like I'm ruining the movie. The end. There's a. There's two animals they mention in the end credits. Ah. Actually, um, they switch gears like halfway through or whatever because they rehire the people that that do the end credits. Um, but I almost put in both animals, forgetting about the second one. I had to look it up. All right. The correct answer to question three is a moose. Mm -hmm. Three of you got it right. One of you got uh, leoparded. Three of you got immued, and nobody right. fell for the uh, reindeer. Moose and llamas. So moose is the answer, and then I almost put it llamas as a fake one, you know? Oof. And then remember that that was in there as well. All right, three of you moving on to question four. Those three are... <sighs> Targaryen Puma, Mocking Lazarus, and good old contestant number nine. Tar I don't even think Targaryens, like, they're concentrating... I haven't seen no them chat. in the chat at nope. all. They're like, I'm going to win this. Give me that next question while I'm hot. We won't, we won't <laughs> distract you. Pickle, are you, oh. you still in? Question four. All right. How many times per second does a swallow need to beat its wings to maintain airspeed velocity? Nice. This is this is grade school. Wait, Everybody which, knows this. which swallow? This, welcome to the chat there, sick one. Is it an African swallow? Were you number nine? That's a uh, sick one is uh, I know him as Pickle. He, he streams oh, okay. as well. And he's his Pickle Rick is uh, one of his emotes. Ben wins the whole thing because they asked the correct question. African or European? <laughs> it's an African swallow. <laughs> what is your favorite color? To grip it by the husk. It's not a matter of where it grips it. <laughs> I should have got some coconut shells to come in today. Yeah, we should have got coconut <laughs> shells. I thought about that early on, but I don't have any. And you don't have coconut don't shells really just lying around the house? You haven't yeah, had any coconuts lately? It's so weird. We're not big coconut eaters. Tarjaren Puma says, Well, I have coconut shells. Oh my. What for? No, no, Wonder. never mind. Uh, question four. The correct answer is 43, <laughs> and one person <gasps> got it right. Two of you fell for 32. So it's yours to lose. Who is it? Let's see. This is a Vanessa situation from last week. Uh huh. I think it's Targaryen. Let's see now. It is Targaryen Puma. All, All she has to do is right. answer one more correctly, and she gets to pick the sticker of her choice. This is how it's supposed to go. Sneeze it. All right, here we go. To win your own trivia. Question five. The all eyes are on you, Targaryen. Let's see what we got. According to Sir Bedivere, what shape is the Earth? This is a tough one. <laughs> oh, man. This is a tough one. Put the lime in the coconut. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a line that you probably didn't give much attention to. One of those quick on throwaway ones. Viewings. Mocking Lazarus says, oh, I know this too. <laughs> what was the Predator final question? I don't remember. No freaking idea. I think I got it, says Targaryen. Good. Let's see. Movie retakes. I'm getting my writing devices together. Oh. I should oh, be able to send right. out these to hat The purchases. Libya mission. Everybody right. passes on Libya. Did she get it? Question five. The correct answer is banana. And she did get it correct. Yes, Targaryen Puma. You are a true winner. Might be the first time that somebody's been the one to choose the next week and then come back and dominate it. That was the right move right there. Pick something you know really well. Tarjaren, which sticker would you like? You know, you get the logo one automatically, but which of the movie-themed ones would you like? Goonie, Smotu, Monsters, Inc. That's like Inc. Funko. I think that's cool. I'll watch that. The Wonder Years reboot. Oh, yeah, it looked interesting. I saw the trailer for mm -hmm. it. I'm in. We were... I forget Monsters that was Inc. available on. It was a couple years back, it feels like we were trying to watch that show again, the original. 
Oh, I would definitely watch that again. It's heavy, man. Yeah, it is, but it's so well done. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Uh, Congrats, Targaryen. It's a show leaderboard, but we, we know who it was. Targaryen Yay. dominated. I would love a Rocky Horror Picture Show trivia. What would be a fun one to do around Hollywood? Uh, yeah, around Halloween, for sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. All right. We end mm. that one. Uh, this is where we move on to the next round is going to be 15 questions based on the four Christopher Reeve Superman films. Uh, this one is about getting it right, but also getting it done quickly. The faster mm -hmm. you answer correctly, the more points you earn. The faster you answer incorrectly, the more points you lose. So if you think you're not sure, you might want to wait a little while before submitting your answer. But that's up to you how you want to play it. Uh, top three players on this one. If we get uh, we get through all of it, if you haven't won all the stickers already, because we have a few repeat offenders who win regularly. Uh, repeat offenders. The top three who have not won them all will get to pick the sticker of their choice. Uh, don't don't try to fib us. I'm not keeping track, but sometimes I remember things. So I want to do a Beetlejuice trivia too. I think it's great. Oh, that'd be fun. I bet we could go. I, I bet all of you guys have seen that quite a few times. As have I. So we could go pretty deep into that one. I've seen that at least 10, 15 times, I think. Yeah. All right, here we That's go. A great one. Superman trivia. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Here we go. First question up. Oh, wait, we get the instruction image. They like their delays in this, uh, but this utility is so good, this uh, quiz kit. It, I can't complain. It's so awesome. You've only seen it once. Well, Tarjaren, now it's time for a, a rewatch. Question one. What is the name of the dimensional plane where Kryptonian criminals were exiled for their crimes? I think you can just be a DC fan and get this one. Yeah. Or you could have watched Smallville. It was on Smallville. Oh, okay. I saw one of the cons, Dragon Con, is having like a Smallville uh, reunion of sorts. And um, Michael Rosenbaum, who does the Inside of You podcast, is going to be there. I would love to get a chance to meet with him and, and podcast or talk a little bit oh that'd be great he's he comes off as kind of a jackass but he's really smart and i think that just is what it is once i've listened to his podcast i know if he's really a sweetheart but i've got some friends like that too mm -hmm. he's funny a funny jackass. jackass exactly but not like the movies guys from jackass that's a different kind all right, here we go. Question one. The correct answer is the Phantom Zone. 16 of you got it right. Two of you got dead spaced, and one of you don't matter. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, get dark mattered. That was rough. I'll take it back immediately. I backed that trick up quick. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, I apologize. I immediately regretted it. Question uh, two. What are Clark's adoptive parents' names? Oh, you man. Got it so easy you should all get it hey i don't care what you say the jackass movies are fun watch one time each i enjoy those they are what they are there's no there's no faking anything there's no you know what you're getting into they're not gonna try to sell you an oscar winning movie was that the laundry <laughs> Or was somebody it's tinkling just, really loud? It's just the doors open. That's where all the water comes down the, the main <laughs> pipe there. <laughs> yeah, Knoxville's done quite a few other movies, but I don't think he really has had any leading roles that were more than like a C title, you know? Yeah. Right. Question two. What are Clark's adoptive parents' names? The correct answer answers, of course, Jonathan and Martha. Uh, only one of you got it wrong. You fan fell for Sam and Dawn. I bet you're a supernatural fan. It felt like Sam and Dean. That's what it. That's what it was. Sam and Dean's one of my favorite meals. He was good in Men in Black too. All right, next question. Question three. What substance does Gus Every Gorman in Superman three use in place of the unknown element that makes up kryptonite? What is it? Hmm. Yep. Hey. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, what else? Uh, he was also in that uh, that movie about the uh, with Arnold Schwarzenegger about the small town uh, with yeah. a bunch of sheriffs that go up against the drug lords or whatever. Collateral damage. No, that was more. That, that was more like uh, that was way earlier. That was like late '90s, early 2000s. 
Hmm. I don't think I saw that. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. And I've seen him in yeah, a few, think... like, uh, like straight-to-streaming service comedy type stuff where he will play a love intro. Oh, what's the one where they, uh, the Special Olympics? Uh, where they Rangers? try to infiltrate. Yeah, that was great. That was such a good movie. I guess I've either just... I think as soon as he's in the um, upper position of main cast, I don't have any interest in the movie. Really? I don't think I've seen... He's not the. He's a good actor, I think. Yeah. All right. Question I just three. Immediately dismiss the film. The correct answer that he got from the side of a pack of cigarettes was tar. Only four of you got it right. This one hurt. Twelve of you fell for lead. Three of you got coppered, and one of you got watered. The Last Stand. I think that's the name of the movie you're talking about. Yes, that's it. I did enjoy Walking Tall. I did too. Not The Rock's best movie, but still a good movie. Yeah, nah, he's gotten continuously better as an actor as as the years have gone on. Well, he's had enough practice. No doubt. Dudes and he films something every like three weeks. Yeah, I would, too. You know how much money he's making per film? He's probably making yeah, 60, sure. 70 million dollars a year just off his movies. He's doing all right. All right. Uh, you, here you we go. Like San Andreas. Oh, man. No, no. I watch San Andreas all the time. It, come on. It's got uh, it's got. Uh, um, it's all right. Uh, Alexandra Daddario in it. And so I'll watch it over and over again. All right, here All we right. go. Question four. Question four. Lex Luthor sends two missiles to different American locations. The San Andreas Fault and this play. Ooh. I would have gotten this not because I knew the answer, but because I remember them saying this a bunch of times in the film. I can just yeah. hear it being said. That's why I did it, because... If you've watched it recently, too, then you'll remember. Mm -hmm. um, which I don't know how many people are actually watching, because we rewatched um, the first one, and then um, I don't think we finished the second one yet. It's in pieces that we're experiencing Superman 2. I haven't watched him in years. I like the first one. I thought oh. it had a really good feel to it, but the second one's a mess. Yeah. I mean, there's parts that are enjoyable i guess but it's um it's pretty sloppy and good reason everybody knows there's things didn't go well three was directors, they changed them out so weird to think they cast richard Pryor in the role they did which i love but i don't know if like if you tried to introduce that today i don't know if it would have worked lowest yeah, age like 20 years from one yeah, to two wasn't she, she like a drug addict or something though and when she having some oh. serious struggles I think later she had some some mental issues, but she you could tell that woman must have smoked like six packs a day. Oh man! Because like in the second one, and I'm glad we didn't have HD filming then, because like even just around her mouth, it looked like she had an 80 year old mouth. Like, Ooh, <laughs> gross! Uh, not the Donner version. I don't think. Um, I need to see that. Where, wherever we're watching in that has the Donner version. All right, question four. The correct answer is. Hackensack. Oh, this one was also painful. Only five of you got it right. Eight of you fell for Colorado Springs. Three of you for Arlington. And two got Boston. I've been watching yeah. that uh, show, uh, Kevin Can Go F Himself, uh, mm -hmm. that's set up in Boston. And man, the accents crack me up. They're so fun. All right, question five. Then we'll check the leaderboard. The Kaipak. Question five. <laughs> Terrorists in Superman 2 hold up in what location as they threaten the ice, the city with a hydrogen bomb? Ouch, Ben B. That's what it does. Ages, yeah. I but at least it makes it look really cool. Got the trivia music playing. I can't hear it, but it's playing. It's such a weird dead silence when we're waiting on the answers. All right, question five, then we'll check the leaderboard. The correct answer to the uh, second location with the hydrogen bomb, or the, the location, not the second, is the Eiffel Tower. Nine of you got it right. <laughs> Uh, one Good of job. you fell for a Sears. <laughs> one of you fell for Dodger Stadium and eight of you, the Daily Planet headquarters, which that one seems really like it could be right, right? 
Shite, says sing. Ben B. <laughs> Wait, yeah. can, can y'all not hear the trivia music? It's playing. Well, I don't hear it. Well, no, we can't hear it. I'll turn it up a little bit. Because when I had it up before, everybody was complaining it was so loud, so I turned it mm. up. No, Callard's not hearing it. Vanessa says yes. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Uh, let's look at the scores. After five questions, we've got uh, <laughs> ten more. Here are the the uh, standings. Millennium Panda in first by a large amount, 144,000. Second place, wow. almost 60,000 behind. It's Aggie Greg. Congratulations. You know why. <laughs> Aggie Greg. I won't even say it this week. Uh, then we got Zach Bonifer, Cal Laird, P. King, Falconer. Falconer's just all over the winds lately. Watch out for him today. Mocking Lazarus, Violet, and Vanessa. She's always, man, she's got such a good memory on this stuff. Hey, Boom. Jungle Bry is rating with a party of 37. Well, thanks, thank you, Jungle Bry. Bry. Come on in, y'all. We're, we're in the middle of some trivia. I don't think you guys can join in at this point. Wait, you can on this one. I, yeah, I think you can. You can. If you'd like to join in on some trivia, quiz kit should show up on your screen. You could still win at this point. There's still 10 out of the 15 questions. Sure. If you guys want to play, we're doing Christopher Reeve Superman trivia. So a uh, quick click quiz kit on your mobile device or your uh, computer there and jump on in the trivia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Jungle Bry. Jungle Ray. Did you see Odin's coming in hot with a compliment, a divisive compliment? Oh, I see. <laughs> Hello, Sully, and more handsome Sully. We, we shan't ask for any sort of uh, qualification on that. Dang it. Well played, sir. Yeah. Question. And that's when the brothers ended. Six. Ooh, never like that. What does Lex Luthor's little black box track to find Superman's fortress? Oh, I don't remember this. Kryptonian farts. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. Uh, yeah, everybody needs to, to play the trivia. It's free. You could win a sticker. Did, Jungle awesome Bride, did you sticker. already finish all your giveaways and play Rocket League in that hour and 40 minutes? I didn't feel like enough time. I was going to come join you for Rocket League. Jungle Bry's moving. He just did his last uh, stream from the old place. Uh, but he mm. and his uh, wonderful girlfriend, Betty, got a house. I'm very excited to see. A new jungle. A new jungle. Exciting. <laughs> Welcome to the new jungle. You got to work that in. <laughs> That's pretty good. No time for Rocket League. Just t-shirt, tour, and 10 giveaways. Man, he was giving away the farm over there. Wow. Or the jungle, you might say. Question six. The correct answer is Alpha Waves. One of you fell for the Krypton farts. Seven of you got uh, thermalized, and seven of you got Gamma Raid. That's that's MCU. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the Jungle Cruise movie, too. Uh, I think it's been a little while since we've had that kind of yeah. uh, adventure film. You know? Uh, feels kind of mummy-ish, like that level. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, and yeah, I like those. I always enjoy those kind of things. So I'm looking forward to that too. I think it's plus be Emily Blunt. Come on, yeah, she's fantastic. She is great. I can't wait to see more. Yeah. I loved her in the uh, what is the day after? Wait, what's the one? Not Edge of Tomorrow. Is that it? Oh yeah, with uh, Tom Cruise. Man, I watch that every yeah. time it's on. That's such a great movie. And she's yeah, a good. badass. All right, question. Oh no, I did not mean the Tom Cruise movie. Question seven. No, no one meant the Tom Cruise movie. Question seven. <laughs> What is not one of the names of the Kryptonian villains? Ooh. This will come out to two of them for me. I know two are right. Do you think Rock's going to try and make a, a turn into straight-up drama? Could he do that? He has done some that are borderline, where it's not borderline. the action, it's the drama. Was that one yeah. of them? Was it called borderline? No. Uh, I think he could do it. I, I think he'll do it when he gets older. Why waste that body now? Do all the big action films and all the over the top stuff, and then down the road you do the you can do some drama. Yeah, <laughs> Man, Tamara. I'm trying to think of Arnold's route, you know. Well, his is weird because of the whole governor thing. He just kind of slipped mm. into nothing for a while. He wasn't doing any films, and then came back out of it, and he's done a mixture of films since then. But yeah, and who knows? He could end up rock could become president or something. He looks like a cartoon. How could you take him serious? I mean, you put a suit on the man, not a super suit, but like a suit, and he can blend I'm in. I'm sure a he's. A, he seems like a smart guy. I'm sure he's already producing. I think he he's, will be president. I 100% think he will be president in our lifetime. Wouldn't be shocked at all. 
when not yeah, to get into so. politics, but when when Trump ran, my buddy's like, no way. And I was like, yeah, because people will go to the ballot and they know the name. Can you imagine if The Rock won? It'd be like 90% in favor of The Rock. Yeah. All right. What is not oh, one okay. of the names of the Kryptonian villains? The correct answer is Tor. Nine of you fell for Non. That's the other one I would have fell for. And then three of you fell for Ursa. Dang, Tor was a good trap. It was. I gotcha. I gotcha. It's okay, Vanessa. I said I wasn't going to get into politics. I just had to. All right. It's not too late to play, everybody. Get in there. Click on, uh, click on that quiz kit. No, Aggie Greg. Who is interested in running for the governor of Texas? I want to hear this. Me. Is it Aggie Greg? I mean, he can just say from the trivia boards on the movie retakes. Oh, no, wait. Really? All right, all oh, right, all right. right. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Non like the bread? That's hilarious. All right, here we go. Question eight. What does Superman do to... Wait, this is yours. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Let me read. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. What does Superman do to Lois at the end of Superman 2? See, and I read it way better than you. You did. You did a wonderful job. You were, you might be the more handsome of the two Sullys, according to an earlier comment. Mm-hmm. And I can read good. One of the dumbest things in soup history. Is that not uh, something they ever did in the comics? Well, in front... I'm sure it must have happened, but uh, from from what I read, I was trying to read up on some of the details and stuff, and they uh, they uh, basically dismiss Margot in the third one to Bermuda, like that's her storyline, um, because she was on like Richard Donard's side or something during the whole oh. uh, arguments in the second one. She took the wrong side and got ousted. Wow, that's like killing off a character in a soap opera. Yeah, basically. Yeah, that's right. I remember there being something about her winning a trip. Mm-hmm. And yep. then she's just gone. She went to that... Uh, she took that trip with uh, Vincent Price and Haddad from uh, Running Man. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All right. The previous year's winners. Question eight, correct answer is erases her memory with that kiss. 18 of you got it right. Nobody thought she got fired. Two of you thought she got superpowers. Mm -hmm. And five of you thought he married her. Is that something you do to someone? <laughs> I'm going to marry the <laughs> hell out of you. you do it right. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, question nine. We'll check the board leaderboard after 10. Question nine, what is the name of the satellite Gus hijacks in Superman 3? Can you get it? Can you dig it? <laughs> Damn I've been married before. Can confirm <laughs> it can be a punishment. Youch. We're hitting the hot topics tonight, y'all. Not the store. Yeah, Tamara, I've never heard you say a nice word about your ex. Oh, no. <laughs> Must have been rough. <laughs> It'll take the Phantom Zone over marriage. <laughs> uh, it's getting hot in here. Man. Question nine. The correct answer is Vulcan. Might have gotten some of you because you think it was a Star Trek reference, but it's not. Three of you fell, uh, fell for Asimov. One of you did not get lucky. And six of you fell for freedom, which costs a buck oh five. That's right. Freedom costs a buck oh five. Man, I lost it when that song first came so on. So good. Ugh, it was so good. Question two. Uh, what does Lex Luthor steal from the museum in Superman 4? The quest for peace. Yeah, I love... I love what is that uh, movie that they did from the South Park guys? Oh, uh, Team America. Team America. I used to have that on DVD. I think I let somebody borrow it. I don't have it anymore. The I whole. Mean, did you ever see the extended scene with the puppets? Yes. <laughs> so yes. stupid. It's, it's too much. <laughs> Only they can pull it off. God, that was one of those movies where I was just falling out of my chair. So it funny. Was, it was so funny. America. Hmm, yeah. Yeah. It's perfect. I think it's time to watch that again. It's been right? long enough. I think I could yeah. totally watch that again. 
All right, question 10. That was funny. Lex Luthor stole a strand of Superman's hair from the museum. Uh, one of you tanked it. One of you uh, got caped, and six of you fell for the old kryptonite. The old banana oh, in the tailpipe. Chose Matt Damon at random to make fun of him. Like, there's no reason to make fun of that guy. No. Yeah. Scotty doesn't know. All right, uh, question there 10. There's supposed to be... Sorry, I... We have a little time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, isn't there... I, I don't remember if it's the South Park guys, but I seem to recall a trailer for a show coming up. It's like an animated show uh -huh. that's in that sort of style. Um, uh, but is it from the South Park guys? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? can't remember the name of it. It's like a total American propaganda sort of um, spoof. Uh -uh, I don't thing. recall it. No, I'm the only, I imagined it. Well, it is a great show in my mind, so I, I'm looking forward to watching more. America the Motion Picture. It's a movie? Oh. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's the, it's not the South Park, guys. It's, uh... It looks somebody, funny. Somebody just told me about this. The guy's behind Archer. That's it. Oh, great. Oh, that's going to be solid, then. If H. John Benjamin has a voice in it, I'm in. I love that dude. Yeah, he's I, I'll watch his Arby's commercials for fun. <laughs> Arby's? I thought that was, um... It's, uh, Ving Rhames. Ving Rhames does the voiceover, but Art, uh, H. John Benjamin does the ones where they actually show him, and he's showing the sandwiches, oh, okay. which is funny because he's always a voiceover guy and never shows his face, but then on this, he okay. does. Huh. All right, Channing question, Tatum, he's funny, too. Oh, I like Channing Tatum. Question 10, the, we got the answer for it. Now let's see where we're at on the leaderboard uh, with five questions left. Millennium me. Panda is up 100,000 points now. Impossible. Holy shites. Uh, Peking uh, in second. Shocking. Falconer in third. Then Cal Laird, Zach Bonifer, Mocking Lazarus, Aggie Greg unfortunately slipped to seventh. Then Savage and Gary. What we got a good mix up on the board, but dang Millennium Panda. Do you have yeah. to keep running up the score on everybody? It's just embarrassing. Peking up there again too. No doubt. All right, here we go. Next question. Millennium Panda every week, right up there on the leaderboards. Consistent. Mm -hmm. Question eleven. What is Clark's first display of superpower on Earth? Oh, yeah. Famous scene. What does he do? Oh, Vanessa was number 10, just off the nine that show on my screen. Mm. 17. That's pretty solid. <laughs> ben needs to go last now. I think we're going to have to change that up. I was talking about it on my stream earlier, but people could tank it on purpose. I think we should start picking a, a random number from all the participants. See, Vanessa said the same thing. But my argument is that it is actually, because of the way the points count down, like, it is actually a difficulty. Like, you're you're trying just as hard to get last, right? So you answer you super quick, have... and you could accidentally pick the right ones. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. But still, I think it's a competition to get last, too. Like, I don't think everybody just walks away <laughs> because you, you want to get more points off. Sorry, I apparently, I apparently hit a, uh, a nerve there, Vanessa, in the chat. Thank you! In all <laughs> yeah, she's all for your, your idea. <laughs> well, we'll see. I, I mean, your, your, your thought has some merit as well. All right, question 11. <laughs> sorry, you, sorry, 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 sorry. Don't treat me that way because I'm more handsome. <laughs> oh, there it is. I knew he was coming back at me. <laughs> Question 11. The correct answer is lifting a truck. He did it as that little tyke in the hole there or, or mm -hmm. on the farm. Put wearing the pants on. Yeah, wearing like a diaper made out of his cape. Uh, three of you fell for flying. Three of you fell for kicking a football. That was the first thing that came to mind for me until I saw the lifting a truck option. And two of you fell for outrunning a train. He was clearly a teen at that. Both of those football and train. Mm -hmm. All right. Question. Question after you guess. 12. 12. What does Superman do to weaken Nuclear Man in Superman 4? One of these is sort of misleading, and I'm sorry. Uh, Universal Ghost says, Sully's right. I'm trying to tank it, and I got three right. Because <laughs> you were answered so fast, but accidentally picked the right one. That's yeah, funny. Dang it, right again. What if you started, like, the first six questions trying to get them wrong, but got every one of them right, and they were like, screw it, I guess I should try now. <laughs> Odin Pops, you were here. You were the cause of the final episode. So, <laughs> thanks for being here. 
Is there going to be a special sticker for the final episode? That's right. It's the brothers torn in half. Oh, hey, that's pretty good. A little like the heart that's in two lockets. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, we can treat this like a, a serial. We'll, we'll have some dramatic yeah. overarching story that carries through all our lives. And then podcast. wait a few months and then have a reunion tour. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, great. Correct answer to question 12. He causes an eclipse week uh five of you fell for he throws him into the sun <laughs> three fell for radioactive material and two stole his girl you think mm -hmm. superman stole nuclear man's girl to weaken right. him wow happens every day wow i think y'all are the ones tanking it i'd like to see who said those those two ben i hope we never see that image of tombstone with our logo on it that makes me genuinely sad. Ouch. Ouch. Movie retakes forever. <laughs> I love it. Question 13. <laughs> where is Lois during Superman 3? <laughs> Oops. You gave it away earlier. Give Who's paying away. attention? <laughs> Nuclear Man took a hit to Free his ego. Bees. This is that free space right in the middle of the bingo card. You're welcome. Assuming you had your ears open and were paying attention. We'll also yeah. know who was tanking it by this answer. This rewards the listeners. <laughs> he picked stole his girl. <laughs> you, oh, my God. Yep, I called it. It happened. Who's the other one? It's because it happened to you. Superman stole your girl. Really? You've been to three or four, three of four of the items on the list. That's pretty funny. You've been, I take it you oh. haven't been to the International Space Station. I'm just going to, just going to guess. Wait, <laughs> one one or keeps not. movie retakes, the other brother starts film do-overs. <laughs> 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 film redos as, uh, as <laughs> yeah. Tamra calls it on his stream. Film right. redos. That's Question. who we are. Yeah, he does. Uh, he did Bizarro Sully stream on a couple Fridays where I was out, and he he made the movie retakes low, but it said film redos. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and instead of uh, what was it? Instead of G Fuel, there was another thing. Uh, he, he renamed it into something else, like B Fuel. Everything was like a spoof on on stuff I did on my stream. It was really well done. I want that. Uh, I want that logo. I think that'd be really cool to use. The movie redos or the film redos? Yeah, yeah. film redos. Yeah, that'd be great. And and I love that it looks like it was drawn by a two year old with a Crayola, which makes it even better. I hope you weren't trying real hard on that, Tamara. Oh, I need to see that. Yeah, it's too good. Uh, let's see. Question thirteen. The correct answer is Bermuda. Brother gave it to all y'all early. Said it out loud. But four still... of you picked the International <laughs> Space Station. One of you picked the Statue of Liberty and three picked Hong Kong. I think I think eight of you are trying to throw this thing. Those are our tankers. Mm -hmm. Tankers. <laughs> B gas instead of G fuel. B <laughs> Anti-energy. <laughs> That's funny. How many crayons were eaten while making the logo? <laughs> yes, Tanner would love that. Oh, uh, here we go. Next question. Question 14. We have two more, and then we're done. What does Superman use to destroy the supercomputer in Superman 3? Can you imagine the future when there's going to be these huge supercomputers? Imagine <laughs> what they'll do. Basically. I carry one in my pocket. <laughs> he built a giant mountain <laughs> cave yeah. computer. God, I... Yes. That was such a... I remember watching, like, the making of that as a kid. And that was one of the first times, other than... I think I saw the making of the Thriller video, too. One of the first times I really got, like, the behind-the-scenes and started understanding how movies were made. It was really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for clarifying, Ben. <coughs> Refuse to guess on this one. Have no idea, says Movie Man. That's an interesting <laughs> tactic. Uh... Question 14. The correct answer is Beltric Acid. Four of you Doing. fell for a nuclear warhead, four for a barrel of oil, and ten, that's a good guess, computer virus, which you clearly have not seen Superman 3 recently. I sprinkle that stuff on my tacos. Beltric Acid? Mm-hmm. Little, little B-A on your T-A-C-O-S? Follow it with some B-Gas. What a great combo. Oof. If it's from Taco Bell, that gas would be poisonous. Mm-hmm. Yep. Question 15. Final question. It's the final question. Mm, wonderful. To whom is Superman the movie 
dedicated. Oh my god. Wow, this one is the, the final question. Ultra tough one right here. Yeah. It's just in there to mess with you. Who pays attention to that at the beginning of a film? I think you might be able to narrow it down. Like you can eliminate based uh, off when it came out. You know? I would yeah, I'd I'd fall for another one pretty easily though. Where is Jeff Goldblum? Is he still doing that show? That was like the first show that was on uh, Disney. There's another everything. season coming. Yeah, they just confirmed oh, cool. it. Mm -hmm. I actually really liked the one he did on Shoes. I thought that was really interesting. I think it was the first episode. Was it? It was really yeah. well done. Stanley Martin Labor. Labor. Was that Stan Lee's real name? All right, here we go. The final question. Correct answer is Jeffrey Unsworth. Oh, eight of you got it right. I'm impressed. Two of you fell for old Stan Lee. Five of you got Brandode, and five of you got Donard. Let's mm -hmm. see where we ended up. Millennium Panda. I wonder who won. Yeah, Millennium Panda was so far out there in the lead. Uh, one at over 300,000, <laughs> almost double second place. So... Uh, I need to know, Millennium Panda, I feel like you've won all of them so far. Please <laughs> confirm that with for me and say either I have them all or I'm missing and tell me which one you want. Uh, oh, Falconer, I, I can't remember for you. Let me know which sticker you want or if you've won them all. Peking, let me know what you want or if you've won them all. Millennium Panda says pass it on. Okay. Falconer. <laughs> Falcon, sure, rub it in, Sully. <laughs> oh, that's hey, awesome. You've been dude. having such a good week. You came in with the with Brian's raid. Yeah, that's really good. Who who said that? Gary. Oh, nice. Gary uh, Gary would be good at this too. I bet he's a smarty. Mm -hmm. I mean that in a mm -hmm. good way, Gary. Uh, Falconer wants Monsters Inc. Man, Falconer, I'm gonna be sending you like a, a big old box of stuff. Monsters. Yeah, maybe you should just. All of these folks, you just go ahead and put a box aside and just keep tossing stuff in it. Yeah, no kidding, right? And then give them, pay them out at the end of the year or something? Uh, oh, Peking, you did? did you answer? Where are you at on this, Peking? And then, Vanessa, all the stickers are going to you guys anyway. You'll get some of those. So then, Gary, you actually get a sticker. Gary, which, uh, which sticker would you like? You can choose from. Here, I'll show you in case you don't remember what we have. Uh, you'll automatically get the OG Movie Retakes logo, but you can also choose either Goonies, Motu, Saw, or Monsters, Inc. <laughs> Which one would you like? Yeah, that's good. Uh, did we get an answer from Peking? Go uh, Goonies. Peking. That's 11, hilarious. 23. What, what are you laughing at? Oh, uh, he sent over the uh, the logo for Film Redo. Oh, he did? Nice. <laughs> yeah. Millennium Panda yeah, enjoyed crazy. dominating us, just just ripping us a new one. And then Gary, 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 by the way, I think I said this before, but I have your card from Jungle Bry that I'll be shipping you uh, to save on some shipping between us. So I'll, now I'll have your hat, your card and your sticker to ship all together. Goonies. Absolutely. All right. Cool. There we go. Yeah, so. Congratulations tonight, Tarzan and Puma, Falconer, Peking, Gary, and Millennium Panda for just beating up on everybody. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Thank you guys for coming to hang with us. Yeah, so we need what's knockout for next time. Who's who's the last play? Or do you want to do the number? Well, let's do the last one still. Universal Ghost was last. Um, hmm. seems, like, seems like a fair number, honestly. 214 in the hole when 300 plus was was the winner it's impressive so yeah universal ghost you get to pick the uh for next week a topic and then we've got to pick one on our own <laughs> what gary say data from gary Goonies data took, my took his he did no it's a true story oh really yeah gary was was possibly going to be cast in that what yeah was it in goonies or was it in uh uh um, indiana jones which was it first but yeah Indy came out first, didn't it? Ooh, Universal Ghost says the fifth element for next week's knockout. That's a great movie. Ooh, yeah. love that movie. So then we need to pick uh, the main theme. You um, auditioned for Indiana Jones. We That's could do awesome, Loki man. next week as the main theme. Oh, okay. That's a do great that? idea. Yeah, I think we've uh, talked about that before, that we were going to do that after it was yeah. done. So okay, you guys great. have well, an incentive to finish the six episodes of Loki before next Wednesday. 
uh, and come to join us. That does exceed the uh, one week of uh, multi-pass. Boy, <laughs> Chicken good. I wish, uh, I wish you guys could write the trivia so I could participate because I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, okay. So we'll do Fifth L and Loki uh, for next week. So if you haven't seen Fifth Element, what are you doing? Go watch it. It's great. <laughs> I can't seem to find the first through fourth element movie streaming anywhere. <laughs> it's like Leonard part six. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm sure everybody will have watched uh, all of Loki by then. Uh, cool. That's going to be really, really fun. I'm looking forward to that one. Um, and do we have somebody we want to raid? I saw that. Um, well, let's see. Midnight Twins on. Oh, my God. Too. I don't know if you want to raid I a Minecrafter. We, but Joe Hills we... is on. You know somebody we should raid? I don't know him personally or anything. It's just a random Minecrafter. I'm not oh. sure if that's the kind of thing people want to go over to. Well, let's see who I've got that we're following. Uh... Yeah, no problem. Good to see you, Elizabeth. Oh, our friend Dr. Crispy is streaming tonight. Oh, Why don't we raid him? He's a that's wonderful a great guy. Idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, gang. Well, thank you, everybody, for playing. Uh, I'm going to queue up the raid, and then uh, I'll give you a heads up on when to sign off here, brother. We will be back next week. I think no problems, uh, no reason to change that. And then I'll be back Friday at, uh, oh, we're getting that weird screen, sorry. I'll be back Friday at uh, 4 p.m. Pacific with uh, my stream and the box game. And in the meantime, be on the lookout for the Predator podcast, which should be available uh, to you soon. We did get a few mm -hmm. reviews in. One was used on the uh, podcast, so who, you, the who, person who gave that uh, will find out if they want a sticker. And we need more reviews, so please go listen to the podcast and leave a review on Apple, iTunes, podcasts specifically. Uh, you can listen to it anywhere, but leave the review there. That's the one that counts the most for us. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Bri, and all those folks that came over uh, in the raid. Congrats to the winners. Yes, we'll have that podcast episode out soon. And Targaryen, I saw your comment. I think that's a cool idea. Um, if we, I'll talk to Bro about that and see if he wants to do that. And then um, I'll uh, we could tweet about it and have you guys send in some questions. Well, we'll just talk about it now. Uh, <laughs> Targaryen said uh, that the, they could send in questions, and then you and I could do a head-to-head -head on uh, either, uh, or I guess on one of these. Or that would maybe be we really do that fun. as a separate episode or something. Yeah, Don't challenge know. the Sully brothers. We just need somebody to yeah. put the questions in for us and, mod and yeah. uh, be the moderator. So we just need to make yeah, a moderator Vanessa that can, can handle that. it. Yeah, sounds good to me. All right, well, sign yeah. off whenever you're ready, brother. Okay, cool. Uh, I am Matt, as always. Support a writer, read a book. And this is Big Sully signing out saying, Nerds Unite. And now we raid over to our friend Dr. Crispy. Be sure to drop in a hashtag movie retakes raid and a, uh, a mode of your choice. And we'll see you guys next time. Here we Bye. go. And Hooray. I'll make sure that it goes through. Oh, I didn't actually bother to go to his channel here. And you got to end us. Uh, I hear his voice. <laughs>